Good evening. A family whose daughter died from sudden arrhythmic death syndrome have donated a defibrillator to a school in the hope that it will prevent another death. Charlotte Prentice was just 16 when she collapsed and died. Her parents say if a defibrillator had been available to, to shock her heart back into normal rhythm, she'd be alive today. Victoria Davis reports. This is the life-saving equipment that Charlotte Prentice's parents say could save a life. Charlotte was just 16 when she collapsed and died from an underlying heart condition known as sudden arrhythmic death syndrome. We were woken by Charlotte screaming. Um, we went down, sorted her out. She couldn't breathe and then she said she couldn't move. So I phoned for an ambulance. While I was on the phone to the ambulance service, Charlotte just stopped breathing. If I could have got a defibrillator onto her, then I, th I think 100% that that would have saved her life. Which is why her parents have been campaigning for defibrillators to be available in all schools. Today they donated the first one to Arrowvale High School in Redditch. The West Midlands Ambulance Service trained um, a number of our staff in, in, in how to use the equipment and therefore now we've got the equipment uh, and it can be used should we have uh, an instance where it was needed then maybe a death can be avoided. If this machine or any machines that we're able to purchase can save one life, then Charlotte hasn't passed him out. Since Charlotte's death, her brother has discovered he also has a heart condition. This news has made the family even more determined to make sure defibrillator is given to every school in the country. Victoria Davis in Redditch for Central News.